welcome to the Science Lab! Yay! Welcome all you homeschoolers out there. Today we are learning science in our homeschool lab, aka kitchen, and today's cast members include the mom, Christian! Woo! The sister, Lorraine! And the, your all favorite child, the best child in the world, me, Max, who's behind the camera most of the time, so see you guys. The nervous system is your body's communication system. It relates information to the brain from the senses, organs, the glands, and muscles. It is responsible for controlling all of the behaviors of your body, including every thought, action, and emotion. The nervous system is composed by the central nervous system, includes the brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which includes the nerves. So I created for them a nervous system bingo to be able to remember some of the parts and play at the same time. Playing a game while learning a subject helps to stimulate the brain, improves intelligence, sparks creativity, improves communication, language, vocabulary, and also helps with social skills. The brain sends, receives, and processes electrical messages through the body. It coordinates, regulates, and directs everything that is going on within the human body. It is protected by the skull or cranium and is made out of to 10 to 100 billion neurons plus glial cells to hold the tissue together. The main part of the nervous system is the brain. We have the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, the cerebellum, the medulla oblongata and the pons. We have frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory cortex and temporal well, we found in the internet an awesome game named Ectomy. What you do to print it, to get all the instructions together, every person has a board and part of a brain. So all the brain is going to be together. Then you ask questions. Every question that you get, the answer is exactly the part that you're going to get. So your bummy reflex is located in this part of the brain. Is the medulla, yes. So the person who gets that correctly gets the medulla. Also, you can get cards that they will say ectomy, and it says remove your frontal lobe. If you already have your frontal lobe, you move it out. If you haven't, then nothing happens. The person who finishes the brain first is the winner. Ready to play? Ectomy is a game of other parts of the brain. When surgeons do any kind of ectomy, that means they take something out of the body. A tonsillectomy is when you have your tonsils out. In this game, you may have a lobe of your brain removed. But don't worry, you can win it back again by answering the questions about the brain. Time. How much does the average brain weight? 3 pounds, 10 pounds, 23 pounds. The answer is three pounds. What name is given to the thick bundle of nerves protected by the vertebral column that runs down your spine? The spinal cord. Electrical impulses travel along your nerves faster than the speed of sound. True or false? It is false. They do travel fast, just not that fast. What is the longest nerve in the human body? The sciatic nerve. What is another name for a nerve cell? Axon, cortex, neural conduct, or optical fiber? The axon. Neuroendocrinology is a study of interactions between the nervous system and what others. The endocrine system. Thank you for playing. I hope you had fun. Functions of the brain. Looking at our brain cap, we are going to play some of the pictures we found in magazines that kind of make a brain collage. We're using pictures from old magazines that we have, and we have uh, someone asking for directions. So, that goes to the frontal lobe. Because the frontal lobe helps you make decisions and computations, telling time, naming things, and symbols. We have someone reading. That would be where? 
in the frontal lobe. Because also in the frontal lobe we get analyzing, forming sentences, reading, planning movement. So we have a picture here with a father and a daughter. Uh, this will be the parietal lobe because the dimension to help us understand. Where we are, how we move, what is our dimension, where we are. Oh, so we have a picture of them in the movie. It will be in the temporal lobe because it will help us understand speech, hearing, and seeing stuff. We have a, fa a daughter feeding the father an apple. So this will be the sensory cortex. Because the sensory cortex is in charge of the mouth, throat, fingers, hand, elbow, neck. So in order for her to get the apple to the right place, it has to use her sensory cortex. Okay, somebody looking outside a window. So we're gonna put that in the occipital lobe. Because the occipital lobe is the one who's in charge to our right eye and left eye. Welcome to the blindfold taste test. Max and Lorraine will be trying some foods without being able to see or partially smell and then will let us know what it is. I love it. Lettuce. Lettuce. Spinach? Oh, spinach. <laughs> Pickles. Pickles, I love them. Oh, mozzarella. This is the right one. This is mozzarella. Mozzarella. Oh, my mouth, yeah. I don't know what it is. I know it's a of cheese. Gouda! Uh, Gouda cheese! That's correct! Woo! Oh! Oh! Get out of my mouth! Oh, I can't get out of my mouth! Oh! Please come oh, in to the tomato. Like, tomato? Yeah, and again. <laughs> Cheddar cheese! Prune juice! I don't know where to aim because I don't want to poke my eyes. I know what that is, and it's my favorite drink of all. Don't say it yet! Oh. I keep drinking it. Vanilla yeah. flavored milk. Capasa chips with uh, salsa. salsa sauce. Oh my gosh, what is that? Apple, apple. Oh, apple. Apple. <laughs> Even because there was no skin to it, it made no sense. Get up to your mouth, there you go. Mm -hmm. Apple sauce. Orange juice. Orange juice. Yeah. Is this the correct? Cereal! Lorraine, what is it? Wait, she's getting Good life, good life chocolate. Yeah, but what kind of chocolate? Mini enjoy chocolate life. chips. Enjoy life, enjoy chocolate. Enjoy life mini chocolate chips. Enjoy life chocolate chips. I'd be terrified if I were you. Why? Don't ring the bell. <laughs> Same here as ice cream! Maybe. Canned peaches. Yeah, but what kind of canned fruit is? Oh, this is a canned, a canned, uh... Like, they're peaches? That was, oh. that was a peach. And then you gave me a, a, a grape. Oh, this one's a canned Let's grape. See. This is God's name. What kind of fruit? Oh. That wasn't pineapple. Mmm. Um. Mmm. Like, you used to love this. Uh. Bananas? Ew. No. Nope. Oh. Peaches. Nope. Not like. Oh no, peaches are yellow. Or whatever. Oh no. Okay, so you gave me something. You gave me something that tastes good, obviously. Like plums. Nope. Oh no. Prunes. Nope. Something that starts with P. Pineapple. Starts with P, but it's pineapple. not pineapple. It's not that that wasn't the pineapple. Mm -hmm. I give up. I give up. It was pear. Pear! Oh, no. Who is the last one? And we like I it? I left the worst to the last. Worst? Yep. Oh, I know what it is. I've seen the worst or the best to the last. Oh, I don't know. You have to open extremely big, like huge mouth. Oh! Mm, I know it! Oreo! Like cahoots! cahoots. Good gluten free cahoots Oreo. So here are some brain facts about the food challenge. Information about the taste from the tongue is sent to the brain. The hypoglossal nerves also control the tongue movements. And foods with chemicals that activate umami receptors include soy sauce, parmesan cheese, and mushrooms. Also, if you want to try this food challenge at home, please be aware of allergies and ask permission first. 
Welcome to the scientist's dinner. So we cooked some of the stuff we learned about. We made a small neurons with yellow. So we have jello. It's a neuro snack. We also made some chicken which resembles a neuron. And finally, we have a brain. Hopefully it doesn't collapse the moment I open it. Brain, Made a spaghetti brain. Yum, that was delicious. If you want to see them up close or want the recipe, just check out our blog below. We have used different methods during our homeschooling time learning about the nervous system and the brain. We have a small model of the brain, a puzzle of the central nervous system. We have Dan, our trusty skeleton who have been helping us. We have a couple of books that we have used. We have used Human Body by Gather Round. It's a unique study. But I also complimented with Lyrical Life Science, The Human Body, Brain Lab, The Secret Life of Brain. Human Body Theater is a comic book about the human body. Science comic. Um, Bulging Brain from Horrible Science. And more puzzles. We have been playing some board games. Have a brain cap. You can find the material in the link below.